beautiful, beautiful people. Hey guys. It's our so it's our anniversary today. Yes. So we've been dating since July eighth. I proposed to her. All the D, November eighth, he proposed. And, and now, we're getting married April eighth. April eighth. One month away, you guys. Yeah. One month away. So what are we doing on our anniversary before we get into the video? <laughs> so we we just love spending just like quality time and. We could do anything. I want to make that like very clear. Don't rely on like an outing to celebrate or like just just really look at two certain moments as like those precious moments. Like it could be such small things or even something like this. It's so big to us because I think we do a great job at valuing just like any given moment. So after church, we just wanted to go. We're at a place called Duck Donuts. Shout out to Duck Donuts. Woo! And they are actually amazing and straight yeah. from heaven. So <laughs> we are heaven sent. Go ahead. Wow. Let the white hit it. Yeah. Y'all can smell it. Let me know if y'all can smell it. Like, comment, share. But we're about to get into these donuts. So yes. we love you guys so I said we was gonna enjoy these donuts, but I never taste anything like this. Oh my Jesus, I never I never in my life taste donut. <laughs> this good. Thank you, Jesus. It's so amazing. I'll see y'all soon. Hey, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? I'm Malachi. And I'm Courtney. And you are watching the... The Greens. The Greens. <laughs> the Greens. The Greens. But mm -hmm. we just thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And today yeah. we are finishing up our series called... Yeah. How we met the how we met series and how God wrote our love story. Mm -hmm. We're on part four. This is gonna be part yes, four. Yes, this is part four. I know. So, so this gonna... is the last one. We really hope that you guys been enjoying the series so mm -hmm. far. But so in the last video where we left off, uh, Malachi mm -hmm. had a dream. a dream. I had two dreams back to back. So what happened? How'd you go about this dream? Yeah. So this dream, uh, two dreams back to back. I had one on a Thursday and then one on a Friday. Mm -hmm. So once I got the dreams, I felt like that was confirmation that I needed to approach mm -hmm. Courtney and let her know, no, I was not going to go up to Courtney and let her know the actual dream. Yeah. Um, and, and that was not going to be my open up because <laughs> I felt like that would have been in a form of manipulation. I got the dream. I was like, how can I communicate this to Courtney? Right. So I did a lot of praying yeah. and I was going to uh, shoot her a text. Mm -hmm to link up with me the same day I got the dream but the Lord said no just wait until wait. you guys meet with her and yeah. for me I'm like man you know I really don't get to hang out with her too much because she's always busy or being productive mm -hmm. um, and I'm like man so how can I actually meet up with her? You would yeah. say though at that time though we were um, were we in the season we were, we were like we were hanging out hanging out a little bit more yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we were hanging out. We, we, you were studying for school, and I was writing sermons. So like, yeah. we were doing a lot of like mm -hmm. hanging out, uh, sharing some time together. That was fun. Really great friends. Like even then, a lot of people were kind of confirming yeah. that we were supposed to be together. But me and her were kind of running away from it, and we said. If this person is not for me, close the door. But if yes. this person is for me, then open the door. Make it yeah. plain. Make it simple. You know, yeah. we, we, we worship a simple God. And, and sometimes when, when, we, when we want an answer from him, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is yield. And yeah. when we yield, it allows God to go before you. Mm -hmm. And he says, that is the person. Yeah. And when he says, that is the person, what we do, after, someone, after we yield and let someone go before us, we, we normally follow after them. Beautiful thing. We're in Panera one day. I was spot this is the spot that we always study yeah and um so we're having a great conversation so we're approaching nighttime yeah so for me it's like i just felt heat all through my body and i'm like yo like i'm about to tell <laughs> my best friend i'm about to tell my homie like this is like this was my homie at the time so mm -hmm. it's always hard to tell somebody that you built a solid friendship with yes. that you know you like the person or something yes. like that and i had to be very careful on that and you for me you hmm. don't know how they would take it yeah not at all so for me i had to understand that okay look this is my friendship mm -hmm. but it's not only my friendship but this is god's daughter yeah. so i want to make sure that this is from him mm -hmm. but once i got the solid okay yeah. to um tell her what the lord gave me mm -hmm. then it was game time so she's sitting across the table and i was like hey courtney look you know what i have to let you know something mm -hmm. you know um, and I looked at her, she was like, are you sure you want to say this? Are you positive? I kept and, saying that. Yeah, and, and then for <laughs> me, it's like, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking like, yo, like, maybe I shouldn't say this, mm -hmm. but 
but I spent countless hours with him. Yeah. Different days with him to make sure yes. that this is the young lady that he wanted me to be. Yes. So I am not promoting. If you feel like you heard from God, mm -hmm. start asking people out. No, no, I'm saying if you better make no. sure and make sure that this is from the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ, right? And he will confirm it through numerous of ways, maybe mm -hmm. not just one way, but maybe a lot. And for me, he did it a lot, so much so that my boy came into my dreams. That was intense. Yeah. So nevertheless... <laughs> I looked at her square in her eyes and I was like, hey, Courtney, mm -hmm. I believe the Lord is allowing me to pursue you. Yep. Stop right there. And then I Ooh. said, if you did not get this from the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I don't want to answer. Go home yes. and pray about it. But nevertheless, I'm going to let Courtney go ahead and talk about her perspective mm -hmm. on us sitting down. Yeah, so... I still remember that day like it was yesterday. As he mentioned, like Panera was our spot. I was in school, I had to do my studying, he was doing his studying, um, and I loved it too, because it's like I was in like Christian school, and then you're studying, so we were like bounce off of one another, um, which was really nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was really nice. Approaching this conversation, it's like I already knew what was about to be said. But at the same time, it's like my flesh was so scared of having this conversation for whatever reason. And at that time, I was also very protective over, like I said, who I gave my time to mm -hmm. and everything. And that, and that prayer that I mentioned in the last video about like, Lord, don't allow me to be interested in someone unless that person is my husband. And so it's like, I didn't know how I was going to take it because I enjoy spending time with him, but I didn't necessarily see him right then and there as like, oh, okay. I'm ready to date you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And so he said what he said, as you guys just heard. And as he's speaking, although my flesh was so scared to get into that conversation, my spirit had so much ease. And that's why I like we both just reinforced the importance behind relationship and being in tune with the spirit because yes. it's so important. If we're supposed to be led by the spirit, then you have to know when the Lord is speaking to you, mm -hmm. you know, and being obedient in that. And so, you know, and when he expressed that to me, every ounce of me just had this like stillness. And I was just so at ease with the information that he told me. And so I did exactly what you said. I didn't say much or whichever the case, but I went home. And I prayed about it. So I sent him this voice message just really like thanking him for what he said because one, I mean, he was just being obedient to what the Lord showed him about me, you know. Um, and then I also mentioned to him in the message that I was like, you know, I knew if we could find it, I'm going to play it. But it's like I knew what he was going to say. And I also knew like deep down, like how I felt about him, mm -hmm. but I still prayed about it. And what I love is that the Lord shifted my heart and how I saw him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I was just like, Oh my gosh, like I really like him. And mind you, that was a prayer of mine. Number one. And I was very intentional in that and not really giving all of myself mm -hmm. to like a person, like emotionally, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so that for me just said like volumes i was just like how did the lord really just shift the way i see you yeah. like it blew my mind although like the spirit was leading malachi and pursuing me and then the lord gave me me the okay i was just i i overly wanted confirmation even though like i knew but i was like lord either still confirm it in our life or remove this man if he is not the man that you want for me and in the midst of all those prayers the lord would push us closer and closer and closer together mm -hmm. we were serving in church we really didn't want people to see like we both ended up in youth we didn't want people to think we were just doing it because it's like oh we're both in youth together it's not about us and it's like the lord would place people around us to confirm what he wanted all along yeah people would come up to me like hey there's this guy named malachi you need to meet and this and that so this is at another time so someone come up to me somebody mm -hmm. who's in leadership at the church that we were at we were serving yeah. and i was transferring from another team yeah. to the other team which was youth which was where courtney was at yeah so a right. lot of people didn't even know me and courtney knew each other we never mm -hmm. spoke in church maybe a high five once yeah. or twice and, but it was really interesting because uh, the guy, he told me, he was like, hey, man, I really want you to meet this young lady named Courtney. Mm -hmm. You guys both love the Lord. Mm -hmm. You guys both are on fire. You guys <laughs> both are great leaders. And I'm like, Courtney, I was like, you know, I, I met her. I met her a few times. And, yeah. and, um, and, and it was pretty cool because 
on the other end of the uh, spectrum, mm -hmm. people were telling her that mm -hmm. she needed to meet a guy named Malachi. Yep. You know, and then it actually started to get a little bit more intense where mm -hmm. they put us both in a position to be leaders of mm -hmm. uh, middle school at the time to teach yep. the middle school people how to worship and stuff like yep. that. And no one knew that we were dating. <laughs> and it was pretty, oh uh, no, no one knew that we were thinking about dating. So it was pretty cool. So. The July 7th, yeah. July 7th um, is when Courtney mom wanted to come. Yep. And it was pretty cool because I was always excited about meeting her. Yeah. You know, um, as a friend, me and Courtney are friends at this time, but we yep. know that the Lord is calling us to date. Right. But I was like, hey, look, I don't feel comfortable dating you without mm -hmm. your mom consent. or I love without that so much. Without your mom even knowing me. And then her, she wanted the same thing. So her mom pulls mm -hmm. up to the church we were serving at. Yep. And for me, I didn't get a chance to walk her in, so I was like, dang it, I have to make it a point to at least walk her out. <laughs> so we're in church, we're worshiping, stuff like that. Then after church, me, I was like more like, I was on this team where like you like walk people in and you walk people out and you give people t-shirts and you pray with people, you pray for people. Yep. And Courtney's mom came up, we gave her a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I gave her, I think I gave her a t-shirt and like, a freshener. Do you want this one? Let me give you two of them. Yeah, She's I gave like, her. you want a freshener? Let me give you the I gave her air freshener. I gave her like two shirts. I think I gave her two shirts. I don't you know. Did. She's probably watching this video. So, Mama Dina, if I gave you two shirts, drop a comment in the comment <laughs> section. But nevertheless, man, like we start walking out of the church and it was so beautiful because we were just having a great conversation. I still could see the two of you in my mind mm -hmm. just, just walking out together. And it yeah. just made my heart so warm because... Like, my mother has never met anyone. Like I said, the day I was interested in someone, then that person, I will bring that person home to meet my mother. Mm -hmm. And and I was serious about you, and I respect that so much about you because you knew, okay, in the upcoming days, yeah. we were going to officially start dating. Mm -hmm. But I just remember the two of them, like, walking out. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it, it just beautiful. made my heart so happy. Yeah, yeah, you're so cute. <laughs> so her mom is awesome. So we're walking out, and we mm -hmm. I walk into the car. I was going to open up car though but i'm like that's like way too like mm -hmm. over crossing the boundaries let me respect her like she was my mom so um but i will open my mom door and now i will open up mama dina door um yep. so i call her mama dina i don't even know if she knows that but anyway <laughs> i walk into the car yeah. and we were talking and she was telling me about some things and i was like man let's pray yeah. uh so uh, i prayed for her mm -hmm. and i gave her a big old hug and i told her you know, later, see you soon. Yeah. And then um, then I went back into church and mm -hmm. I seen Courtney yeah. and then we started talking a little bit and hanging out and stuff like that. We were, yeah. and, and, and then after that, like the next day came. Mm -hmm. And what happened on July 8th? So July 8th, of course, we were still back at our place. We were in Panera, we linked up, we were mm -hmm. studying a bit. Um, and I just remember it, it was like closing time and then we went out to the car we were just in the parking lot just talking yeah um and we were talking 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 for hours literally we were, talking for a long we were time. just talking and one of my favorite memories is when he hugged me and he held me and he for was the, look listen to me I told Courtney, mm -hmm. I'm a little backstory. So I told Courtney, we were yeah. hugging and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we used to hug, like, you know, two hand hug. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, look, I know we like each other, yeah. but I, I feel like I'm disrespecting you if I'm hugging you like this as my friend. Yeah. I don't want to overcross that boundary because if we carry habits, if we carry impure, so not saying that hugging is impure, yeah. but if we carry any impure, habits into yeah. our relationship mm -hmm. then it'll be in our relationship yes. so let's get in let, let's start off our dating relationship mm -hmm. extremely pure yes. so if you guys are friends out there and you like the other person do not mm -hmm. treat that person as if you are in a relationship because if you do mm -hmm. those same habits travel with you yes. into the actual relationship that's what i love too he made that very clear he's just like you know that's why i feel like this needs to be something more because Again, like we are then going to be carrying those poor habits into our relationship. Just and those dangerous. poor habits can be poured into your marriage mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And so that's why, again, we're so big on boundaries. Mm -hmm. So he started hugging me. And this is one of my favorite memories of him. And we were hugging. And then he started singing. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves yes. us. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it just like broke everything. <laughs> 
Nevertheless, I started singing a song called mm-hmm. Oh How He Loves Us. Yep. And that song just talks about how God loves us so much beyond yeah. anything, our flaws, our failures. He he see us as holy and blameless without a single fault. Um, and I'm just sitting there, I'm hugging Courtney, mm-hmm. and I'm singing a song, and I'm like, oh, how he loves us. And then, like, you know, it was a really emotional moment. Mm-hmm. And then we started talking about dating. Yes. And, um, and, and you know, I think I asked you out. Yeah. I asked you out. Mm-hmm. You said yes. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, does that mean we're a couple now? Right. And then I'm um, like, yeah, like we're a couple. So now we're dating one another. Um, and like all through summer, it was just so cool. Like we were still serving. We went mm-hmm. on a whole youth thing together. Um, just like a whole bunch of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And so we knew like, again, like, the purpose in dating then after it's that marriage. is to result in marriage we knew what the lord confirmed in our life around september mm-hmm. um i started to make it a point to start actually saving up to purchase courtney's ring yeah um so september october uh-huh. was like that time of really just like you know crushing it out working late yes. working as much as i can and mm-hmm. really trying to figure out and i worked at a jewelry store at the time but at this jewelry store the rings there were you know expensive i didn't want to spend a ring that was like five thousand dollars and then for her she would look at that as irresponsible yeah. because she's a responsible young lady and a lot of other women would be like oh five thousand dollar ring like mm, look at my ring i'm balling baby you know and the next thing you know you guys are going into your marriage or your engagement extremely in debt mm-hmm. so for me i'm praying i'm like lord how in the world am I going to get this girl a ring? And to what the Lord was showing me in that time was like, and we spoke about like the ring. Oh my gosh. Like I was sending like him pictures of my dream ring and everything. And that's beautiful. And the Lord wants that, but it's like, don't get so focused on that. Don't highlight that more than the marriage itself. And the Lord like really checked me on that. Um, and it's so beautiful how the how the story pans out. Yeah. Because I got both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, continue. Yeah, so so she was, like, praying for the specific dream ring. And the ring uh-huh. did cost, it, it cost a lot. And maybe not a lot to a lot of people, but it definitely mm-hmm. was a lot to me. And I like to give a lot of my stuff more than even half. So, oh, my God, so, such a big heart. Because God gave to us. He gave his one and only son to die on the cross for our sins. Mm-hmm. And the least I could do is at least give, yeah. you know, to other people out there so if you are out there listening to this um i encourage you guys to go out there and give pay for the person coffee behind you pay for the person chipotle um and i know chipotle could be expensive but just do it at least once a month like that'll do so much it'll make you feel so warm inside nevertheless i'm praying for this ring so i'm like man like what should i do so some old lady come in oh advanced in age lady not old sorry um for that advanced in age woman who may be watching this uh, but nevertheless so she comes in mm-hmm. and it's christian lady she got blessed and highly favored on her shirt all of this stuff and she's like hey how are you i'm like hey how are you what, what brings you in today she's like i want to clean my ring so we go and we clean her ring mm-hmm. and um i was telling her about courtney and stuff like that and how i'm gonna propose soon she said you're gonna get your ring from here i was like man amen she was like, I don't think you should do that. I think she, you should get it from this place. Mm. And I was like, nah, nah, man. You know, I want to get it from the top jewelry store in the world. Yep. I'm like, let me get it from here. You know, it was a bunch of pride in that. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing wrong with get, get, getting your baby girl something that, you know, I want to get her a million dollar ring if that's possible. That would be amazing. But I'd rather put her in a big home um, with some property and land and stuff like that. And that produces more income. Um, so she told me that, and then I'm, I'm like, all right, cool, you know, whatever, all right, cool. The next day, my manager told me the same thing, the same exact place. He said, hey, I think you should go to this place. And we're like, dude, not where, but I'm like, yo, this is crazy because I just heard this from my manager, and now I'm hearing this from another lady. Yep. I'm like, this is kind of weird. So nevertheless, my mom told me the same thing. She said, you should go here. And I'm like, yo, this is the third yep. time I'm going to this place. So... Saving up, saving up, saving up, saving up. Mm-hmm. I said, Lord, I do not want to spend this certain amount. Yep. You wrote it down. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. I'm, yeah. I might, if I still have it, I might put the picture in here. But yeah. I wrote it down. I said, Lord, I do not want to spend more than this amount. I got paid on November 7th. Yeah. I got paid on November 7th. No. 
You did. Is yeah, I got right? paid. Yeah. I was supposed to get paid on November eighth, but I got paid on the seventh for some strange reason. That oh, never wow. happens. And um, after work, uh -huh. I went to the place. Yep. And I said, hey, man, I'm just looking for a yellow gold solitaire ring. Mm -hmm. And he's like, man, we got all that. I'm looking at the price. And I'm like, this is yeah. the same price as of my store. I'm like, this is crazy. I was in there from 7 o'clock to 8.30. The store is closed now. Mm -hmm. The store is closed. Literally, like, door is locked. But since a customer was in there, they were just honoring that. Sure. And I told the guy, and I'm going to wrap this up for you guys. But I told the guy, I was like, hey, man, look. I proposed to my soon-to-be wife yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow's the date. He like, yeah, man, but you know, you could come back next week, and you know. I'm like, bro, I, I, I asked her out on the 8th. I want to propose on the 8th. Yeah. I was like, come on, man. We got to do this. We got to work it out. Yeah. He like, man, look, we don't have a ring with the price you're asking for. That's kind of like, you know, it's kind of silly on our part. And I'm like, all right, man, but I prayed about this. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, nice doing business with you guys. And then he looked at me. He was like, yellow gold solitaire? I'm like, yeah. And he was like, man, come here. Let me show you something. Ah. Walk me over. He pointed to the ring. I look at the ring. And I was like, that's it. <laughs> and I was like, let me see the price. The price was this specific number. Yep. This specific number that was $400 more than what I was actually asking for. Mm -hmm. It was four hundred dollars more than what I was asking for. I looked I, I, in my mind. I thought about the prayer I wrote to Jesus, and I'm like, "Yo, mm -hmm. I'm going to stay faithful." Yeah. I was like, "I can't afford that." He said, "Man, this is you know this ain't too bad." I'm like, "Well, it's too bad for me." And um, <laughs> I was like, well, "I can't afford this." And I was like, "Hey, look, man, you know, thank you so much again." Yeah. And um, and I was kind of I'm not gonna lie, my faith was kind of wavering right there. But nevertheless, the guy. Uh, he was like, man, if the manager comes out, he's going to be pretty upset. The manager comes out. And he said, how much do you want? I said, well, yeah, actually 400 over my budget. Mm -hmm. He said, well, we'll give it to you at the price that you want. Y'all. Why? Y'all. It shot through me. I was yeah. with my boy Micah. It shot through me, and I start weeping. And I was like, y'all don't understand. Y'all are all going to be a part of our love story. Yeah. And I was like, I'll take it. He said, all right, man, congratulations, man. You really look like you love this girl. And I start pouring into all the men about how to honor your wife and love your <laughs> wife. And they like, dang, he just got deep. So I yeah. got the ring. Next day, mm -hmm. what happened, baby? Next day, you I proposed to her the next day, y'all. Yep. And, you know, we went out to um, we our at, garden. Yes. And he was being so weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I look back and I, like, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But during, like, it just... But, <laughs> so we went out to eat. He mm -hmm. was being just a little odd. Um, we, I was sitting on a ring the whole time. So I'm like, my little butt was just like... He's moving all over the place. And I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. Um, but then after that, we were just walking. And that, it's so crazy because that week I was having like a rough week. We were going through it that yeah, week. Because I didn't even knew what was happening. Yeah. He you was know? so scared um, of us yeah. actually taking that next step, step mm -hmm. um, to get into the next marriage. So Yeah. Absolutely. And so, like, we were just, I was just having a rough week. So now, um, we have this place that we love going to, and it's like this, like, uh, storefront, and we'll just, like, sit there and talk and everything. Like, we spent a ton of, like, summer nights there. We'll go there, like, past closing, so there's no one around. Um, and so, we're sitting there, and he's just like, hey, I got some family members and stuff. Um, I got. Like it was our anniversary. Yes. So I want to make that clear. So he I used act like that. yeah, I act like I didn't have the money yeah. to like do something crazy. So what I did was I got a bunch of her family members to send videos in. So I showed her all of the videos. It, and looking back, you would think like, girl, how did you not know he was gonna propose? Mm -hmm. But during it, I did say in my head, I was like, that would be like a really cool proposal but nobody in the video mentioned anything in regards to proposing and so i was just like in awe because i was like this is like so sweet and everybody was saying all of this stuff mm -hmm. um so then we just go walking to this other area and you guys mm -hmm. i didn't think anything of it mm -hmm. and so he's just like 
um, and we have all the footage, but he like puts up my phone and I didn't think anything of it because we have taken photos like that before. And now he starts just like speaking to me and pouring into me. And I also didn't think anything of it because you are the type of man that does this on a daily basis. Like mm -hmm. that's what I love so much about him. Like he will, he's always reassuring me. He's always just telling me what's on his heart. Just, it's never like on a special occasion. Now I'm going to choose to love you or choose to pour into you. That is just who you are daily. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Like, and so, I, <laughs> and so him standing there yeah. saying all of these things, like the video was what, four minutes long, five yeah. minutes long. And so him saying all of these things, I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, it was so sweet, but... Literally, yeah. yeah. You hear me say, like, I'm like, uh-huh. Like, just looking at him, because you're nice and tall. Oh, um, so, <laughs> so, after that, um, he's like, so what comes after um, dating? I said, I said, so what is the next step to mm -hmm. dating? Yep. I was like, hey, I was like, we were friends, and now we're still great friends, but yep. we started to date, and mm -hmm. I said, now, what's after dating? And yep. he was like... I was like, marriage? Marriage? And I was like, no, what's after dating? The next step after mm -hmm. dating is what? And she was like, engagement? I was like, engagement But and she's marriage. thinking like, he is not about to propose. No, no part of me thought he yeah. was going to propose, yeah. like, yeah. at all. And then, like, he does this little, like, pushing motion, and he pushes me aside. And mind you, Malachi has played with me before. You've done that about two times. I never actually got on my knee. He ne his knee never touched the ground. I love that, because you I, said, like, your knee wouldn't touch yeah. the ground until you proposed. I would, like, play around and, like, he act like I'm going to propose. So I pull out, I'm pulling out the ring. Yep. I'm pulling out the ring. And she's like, stop, stop, seriously, like, stop. stop. She's like, stop, My don't play with that. That's so serious. Like, that's not cool, that's not funny, that's not a good joke. Yep. She's seen a box, and she was like, stop, no, no, no. And then I, I pulled it open, I was like, baby. Like, this and he is got real. my dream ring that I wanted from day one. I pulled out the ring. I opened that bad boy. I drop on my knee. I'm like, come on, baby. What oh, you gonna say? I never cry. I just, I never thought I could cry so much. I didn't think I was going to cry. Yeah. But I just, a woman passed by and she's just like, what did she say? She's just she was like, like, oh my gosh, what Because I was just like this the whole time. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they probably thought that we were fighting. Literally. Um, because I'm just like, I'm rubbing her. I'm like, baby, I love you. And then I, um, the lady was like, oh my gosh, what happened? Like, everything all right? And I'm like, yeah, I just proposed. And she I was, was like, oh, there. wow. Like, <laughs> she crying hard, you know? Yeah. And so, you know what? Since we love you guys, mm -hmm. and we think you guys love us back, and if you love us, drop a comment in the comment section. Like this button. Matter of yeah, fact, no. pause. Like the button. Like, push the like button. Yeah. If they you have not back. subscribed, subscribe. If you have not subscribed, mm -hmm. subscribe. Do it. And if you don't have a YouTube account, make, make one, one, then subscribe. Come on, help the channel grow. Help the family grow. Now, we want to do something special. Yeah. We want to insert the clip of the proposal. There's a store right here. Where? Right here. <laughs> you leaving my phone? What? What? What's wrong with you? What?
I'm so, so, so glad that you guys maybe enjoyed that video. Whatever your emotions is going on right now, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. So, now that we wasn't even where like the surprise ended. So now we were just like, oh, we should like go out or get something or whatever the case, we were just like so excited and everything. Um, and so he's just like, as we, I forgot where we chose to go to, but he's just like, hey, I have to stop home and grab my trench coat because it's really cold outside. Mm -hmm. So again, I didn't think anything of anything. Mm -hmm. um, so wait, so we're driving, we're driving and I'm hitting up people, I'm like, yo, we are 15 minutes away. We are 12 minutes away. We are 11 minutes. Yo, keep, get ready, get ready. Yes. I have all of her friends in there, all of our church friends in there. Her mom is on the way. I'm like, y'all, get ready. I had have no phones idea. ready. Everybody had their phone out recording. I'm like, we are going to walk in the door in approximately yep. this amount of time. So at the time, the lady, um, the lady next door to us do a lot of Bible studies. So there's always a lot of cars around anyway. So there was so many cars outside. So it was funny yeah. because we're walking in and, and she's kind of like, you know, he's a little weird right now. So I'm like, he, hey, look, you go in first. He tells me to go in first and I'm just like okay like i'll go in mm -hmm. i go in and i see oh my gosh i see like my youth girls my high school girls everybody everybody i see everybody I and mean, she stopped bowling again <laughs> bowling <laughs> crying but what i loved so much and it was so cool how fast you put this together um when we made our way around the room like i'm saying hello to everyone hugging everyone this that, and the third and then i get to the table and there was like this picture mm -hmm. made we from... have to I, i'm gonna take a picture of it yeah and i'm gonna um put it right here so yeah. i'm gonna put it the picture is gonna be probably like <laughs> there was this plaque made from oh my gosh she's family the from banks. Shaquita yes from the Banks family we and love them. so much we yeah. love you guys yeah. so much and it had the picture of him getting down Pro on one knee proposing yo you, listen he sent out the pictures that fast listen, he sent out the picture the same day I proposed to Courtney and yeah. she uh, she and her family went out to find that picture, print that picture out, put it on a plaque. Yes, she and did then all put that. like the the uh, the future married couple or something like she that. Said she the future greens. The future greens, and she yep. and our YouTube channel name is the greens. Like that's so cool. So she put that up there, and it was on the table front and center. And we were just like, how in the world you did that in the course of like four or five hours, maybe. Yeah. We are done with the series. We thank you guys so yes. much. Thanks. So much for tuning in. Yeah. So much for tuning in. We've been having a blast with this thing. Yeah, in the comments, just let, give us um, more ideas. Like we always say, like we love reading your comments. So thank you so much for the love yes. and everything. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. I want to say one thing. Yeah. Like this video. <laughs> comment on this video and uh -huh. subscribe. Yeah. But mainly, I really want you guys to share this video mm -hmm. with one or two people on your phone. It yeah. could be your grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, friend. Send it to your friend. Mm -hmm. Send it to your friend. Drop a comment mm -hmm. if something helped you, yeah. if you learned something through this series, if there were any parts that, that made you laugh but that was actually true. Yeah. Just talk to us. Communicate with us. We are always going to comment back. We make it our goal to make sure that we're actually engaging with you guys because we love you guys. But we're going to have Courtney close this out in prayer, and we love you guys so much. So let's go. <laughs> Lord, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to, to pour into uh, your children or whoever may be watching, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to be able to share our story with your people because it's one to be shared, Lord. Yes. You wrote this way ahead of time, Lord, so we just thank you for allowing us to walk into it. Mm -hmm. And for the people watching, Lord, I just pray that they're able to gain something from it, Lord, and mm -hmm. implement it. Lord, allow it to encourage the ears and the hearts that are watching. Um, allow it to motivate them and just inspire them in general. Um, and Lord, we just pray that you guide them in their relationships, their earthly relationships, but also help them do the relationship with you because mm. ultimately that is the one that is the most important and that's yes. the one that will set the tone for the relationships that we walk in here on earth. So we just thank you and we love you so much, Lord, and just thank you for uh, this marriage that you called us to and, and marriages and relationships that you may be calling whoever's watching too so we just love you and we thank you in jesus name amen amen so we love you guys so much and we pray that you guys have a beautiful rest of the week and yes. stay tuned for next week because we have something 
fire for y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about heat. I'm talking about as <laughs> soon as you press play, you're going to get hit with the Holy <laughs> Spirit. No, I'm kidding. But we love you guys so much. We appreciate you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this video with some people and let us know your feedback in the comments. Any recommendations, any requests, let us know. So we love you guys soon and see you later. Bye.